Homeschooling can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be, right? So if you have the right resources, if you know where to look, if you know how to find different things, it'll save you a ton of money. So we can easily get trapped into buying all the things, but if you want to keep it on a budget like I'm trying to do more so now, then here are five free resources that I'm using currently that I really, really love. And again, it's free. My first resource is going to be books. So if you have not heard of books, books is an animated storybooks app. It's a whole library of books that I am totally enjoying. It is free for homeschoolers. So you just go on their website, you scroll to the very bottom of their website and you'll see um, homeschool. I'll add it on the screen just to show you where to go. But books has a ton of books, as I said, they add new books all the time and they don't have like all the books but they have a good collection that i'm totally enjoying and for our different activities for different times of the year so the activity are geared towards you know teachers for the classroom but of course if you are homeschooled you can take advantage and do some of those things here like we've been doing recently so that's my first one my second resource that i really really love is this website called miniature masterminds so I learned about this website on YouTube. I'm not sure what the homeschool mom name is. <laughs> it's been so long ago. But Miniature Masterminds is a free website with a ton of principles from curriculum to, I don't know, busy binders type things, um, tracing. Every subject that you can think of is on there. So I want to say go up to second grade. I'm not sure. But as I said, all of the printables are free. Um, I am currently using their health curriculum for first grade as well as their science curriculum for first grade. And because it's like strictly websites, a lot of other things are black and white. So what I plan to do is just use what they already have listed on there and then add the color, right? So I can check out books. I can add documentaries. I can add TV shows, whatever we need, but I wanted to save some money. And I'm like, okay, I flipped through the curriculum. I looked through all of the pages. I'm like, I can definitely use this and tweak it to my liking instead of starting from scratch. So if you are looking for just seasonal things for your child, um, things to just get them started, this is a great place to start. You don't have to enter your email. All you have to do is really is go on the page and click download. So I definitely suggest checking that out. Even if you don't want to use a full curriculum, there are different worksheets and pages that you can definitely benefit from. So yeah, miniature masterminds. My third resource is my new favorite. Now, I'm not going to say that I wasn't a fan of the library, but I was like, who are touching these books? What are they doing at home? You know, germs and all of that. But y'all, I am starting to love the library. So my third um, resource is the library. Your local library will be your best friend in terms of all of the books, right? So I was initially purchasing every book that I wanted for my children. And you know, the, the cost started adding up and I'm like, you know what? Some of these books I don't even like. So I started going to my local library and checking out books, right? And viewing the book first to see if I actually like it, if my children enjoy it, and then to make the purchase like that. That's what I recently started doing. I also like the library because they have different events and programs that you can take advantage of. Like during this summer, they have the summer reading program as well as different events for different age children. They have story time for the preschoolers and toddlers. They have different kits that you can check out. Um, they have um, instruments. They have some have computers, audiobooks, games. It's so many resources that I was missing out on. But I'm glad I started to utilize those. And plus my children enjoy going to the um, library for the toys and for this, you know, socialization and stuff like that. You can also, you know, depending on your library, you can also have access to different apps for like audiobooks and stuff like that. So you have to check with your library, but for my library, you can definitely, you know, put books on hold. So what I started doing is looking up different things that we're going to cover, typing in those, you know, keywords into the library and putting them on hold so that way I can just go and pick up the books instead of having to search when I go in there and that saves a ton of time, but Overall, the library is a great resource. Just make sure you go ask for the schedule and all of that. And yeah, consider using it. Another mom on Instagram also says she always keep the Lysol wipes and stuff like that to clean the books, you know, because of germs. So that's a helpful tip if you're worried about, you know, germs or your kids getting sick or whatever. My children haven't had their problems, so we're going to continue to use the library, okay? At least mm, four times in a month, maybe every other week. I don't know. Now, first... <laughs> I was missing the deadline to return the books, so I got charged at least $50 um, before I realized that either you're going to get these books and take them back on time, or we're just not going to go to the library at all. Because the, the money is adding up, the books I don't really want because they're old. Um, but yeah, don't make that mistake like me. 
my fourth resource is going to be art hub for kids it's a family youtube channel where usually it's a father and one of his children they are drawing something and they are showing you how to draw and so they have a large library of different videos that range from all different types of subjects different drawing difficulties so you can type in like preschool type whatever you're going over i usually use it when we're going over themed items so you know say we're studying about birds type in it type in our health for kids birds and it'll pop up it'll usually have different options different kinds of birds or whatever the case may be but it's an easy way for your child to work on drawing and i recently started doing it with my kids so it's like a family type thing and they really really enjoy it so if you're looking to add drawing to your homeschool or just drawing in general to you know your home during your downtime during your family time definitely check out art hub for kids they have so many videos and the drawings are super super easy for me as an adult so i know it won't be like too overwhelming for your child but yeah that was my fourth resource and my fifth and last resource for homeschoolers is handsomemind.com if you're not familiar with hand to mind it is the sister company of learning resources and educational insights so here is a hand to mind um i don't know what it's called rick and rick whatever it's called i just call it advocates but that's not the proper name but basically they have free curriculum on their website it's geared towards teachers again so you just go on there look at the different topics i think it's from like pre-k to let me double check it's from pre-k to fifth grade so on their website you just go to free lessons and you can go to the lessons by subject or by grade and for different lessons as far as the subjects they have art literacy science math social emotional learning stem social studies and they are great lessons right so it's typically like a workbook page or something it could be a craft depending on what it is but what i really really love about this is if you are not really skilled in that area they do have videos that you can watch that your child can watch they're short and to the point which covers that topic so that they can get like background knowledge to what they're doing or whatever so that will be free you just scan the qr code and it'll take you directly to a video i think it's on youtube um this is something new that i've been doing but i'm like i have a lot of their resources and sometimes i don't want to create my own resources and it's good to know that a brand that i really trust and you know love their products i can go on their site and get things that's very useful in our homeschool we definitely don't have to um come up with things on our own and i guess there'll be some additional like resources that you can use um teachers pay teachers is a good resource to use you just make sure you scroll or um sort the filters to do like free resources or whatnot it's a ton of free resources i don't really use teacher pay teachers anymore like that like i was in the beginning because i found other things that i like to use but i do use teacher teachers pay teachers sometimes um, and then another resource would be, depending on what type of curriculum you're looking for, um, the Good and the Beautiful do have their homeschool curriculum free online. I don't use their math anymore, so, you know, if you're looking for something to get started, it's an open and go curriculum. I'm not promoting it anyway, but it's, it's free if you just want to see, like, what to expect, what you can use, whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, those are a few of my favorite free resources. If you have any other free resources that you're enjoying right now, definitely drop them in the comment section below. Um, I'm trying to create like an information hub for moms who are interested in homeschooling, who are just getting started, um, who have tried out some things that's not a good fit for their homeschool, but maybe beneficial to other moms. So yeah, um, if you're new here, I'm Shadamin, homeschool mom to a five and four year old. Um, yeah, so stick around if you like homeschool videos, make sure you subscribe. So yeah, that's all of the free resources I have for this video. I'll probably do a part two when I, you know, discover some new ones or add some new things to our homeschool. But I wanted to just share things that we're actually using now, currently. Um, there are some things that we have used that wasn't a good fit. So I'm like, okay, that's not something I can vouch for because I didn't really enjoy it. But these things that i shared i definitely enjoy um so far so yeah see you guys in the next video